Hey VCers, Tony here, Tony's LPs are us, we're in Studio B, where we did, uh, last night we did the announcement of the new Beatles all analog model box set of the 64, 65 US versions of their records from the UK. We did that in the studio and we're going to do a little quick uh, review again or a quick announcement. Rhino, uh, early this morning I was on their alert and Rhino announced their two new High Fidelity Series LPs, $39.95, limited to, I believe, 5 k And uh, the picks didn't get a lot of great raves in the comments because I was watching it live and I also commented a little bit. Um, the picks are, you probably don't know, but I'm just going to put my two cents in. This is just my opinion. And I'm doing like a Western theme today. I've got the Stenson on, which I'll take off now. And um, and last night, it was kind of strange. Last night, I did not know what the picks were. And this is kind of a, a country rock uh, scenario. We have two country rock uh, giants, if you may. And last night, I was going to a, through a thrift shop, you know, looking for records. No records anymore. Records are really hard to come by in some of these thrift shops. You know, it's all timing and... If you're lucky, you may, you may catch fire in a bottle or lightning in a bottle. But I was able to get this. This is a uh, first edition uh, book club edition, but it's um, got an error in it, some typo. And uh, if you don't know this book, Lonesome Dub, if you don't know the series, Lonesome Dub was a TV miniseries with uh, Robert Duvall and Tommy Lee Jones and a cast of others. Uh, just tremendous. The, my favorite Western of all time. So I was able to get that. So that was maybe was a little, um, you know, little premonition that Rhino was going to do some country rock. Because this is a, a fabulous book. Um, my second copy. I have a copy already. But And of course, the Stenson, with, like I said, I put that on. Uh, because the two releases are Graham Parsons' Grievous Angel, which I don't have a copy of, I don't think. An Emmy Lou Harris Luxury Liner, which I do have copies of, and I'm going to show my Emmy Lou Harris stuff. And the only thing I really uh, know with Grant Parsons, I have some of his work with, I believe, Flying Burrito Brothers. I didn't pull those, but I do have um, him with the bird, Sweetheart, Sweetheart of the Rodeo, which is considered the, uh, the Rosetta Stone or the Cornerstone or the... Um, Evolution to country rock. That was rock to country rock. And here's some, um, here's the photos of the records there. That's the Grant Parsons, which I do not have. And this was just announced on the Rhino uh, exclusive with um, Steve Westman, who's great. Uh, he's got a good connection now with Rhino. But from the comments, you know, maybe a few a few hundred comments, and I think the. Most of the comments were not enthusiastic. Some people said, hey, at least, I think um, my friend Dudu Dave uh, said that, at least they're thinking out of the box, which I agree. They're not giving you just what you think they're gonna give you. You know, my picks were traditional rock, um, not hard rock, obviously. I didn't do any uh, Black Sabbath or, purp or Deep Purple. I would have loved to, but I didn't think that was gonna happen, so I picked you know, a couple, uh, Blind Faith, America, First America, and also a, uh, which is which I thought was a great pick, was a Jackson Brown, Saturate It, uh, Saturate Before Using or whatever. So anyway, uh, these two picks, Grievous Angel, Emilio Harris, Luxury Liner. And it's funny, I, w I didn't think that this was a great, uh, I didn't think these were two great picks. That's my opinion. Don't kill me on that. I'm not really... Um, enthusiastically going to buy a, you know, $60 Emmy Lou Harris record. The records that Emmy Lou Harris puts out are great. I have a, a big collection of Emmy Lou Harris. I love Emmy Lou Harris, uh, Voice Like an Angel. And it's funny, Grant Parsons, Grievous Angel. You know, they have a connection. So, Grant Parsons, I could see maybe that's probably a rare record. I don't have it. Um, big, um, Influence on Keith Richards, uh, Wild Horses comes to mind, a lot of stuff from Exile comes to mind, a lot of that country twang that uh, Keith and Mick later on uh, explored, and I think it was mostly Keith who uh, would hang around with Grant Parsons, who left us 
uh, way too soon, obviously. So from the comments, I don't think it's a big hit. And it was funny when I was watching this, I'm thinking this, you know, not even dawning on the name of the Emmy Lou Harris record, which was Luxury Liner. I didn't even, I just said, like, this is, this is like a sinking of a series. It's almost like the Titanic. It's like an ice, they hit an iceberg because no one, I don't think people are looking for Emmy Lou Harris. They might be looking for Grant Parsons, but I don't know. I'm sure his record's going to sound great. All Analog, cut by Kevin Gregg again, uh, et cetera, et cetera. 40 bucks plus shipping. Um, I don't think these are going to sell out right away. Maybe the Grams will sell out. So there's no FOMO. In this for me, fear of missing out. There's definitely no FOMO. And I don't I don't really, I don't think I'm going to purchase them. Uh, I have a lot of the rhinos. I'm happy with a lot of the rhinos. I think these two picks are not for me. And from the uh, comments, uh, I think a lot of people feel that way. And um, it's, what it, it's whatever you want it to be. If you're an Emmy Lou Harris fan and you love Emmy Lou Harris, you're going to be ecstatic. Because uh, I'm sure it's going to sound better than... Uh, the original uh, old school vinyl, from, I think from 77. But uh, I heard good things about this record. I'm not familiar with it. I'm going to pop it on because I do have it. I don't have the Grand Parson. So let me just go over Miami Lou Harris with you. And then um, I'll have some final comments. And I just hope you guys leave your comments, what you think about these picks. Because in my opinion, and it's like just my opinion, I'm really more of a a heavier uh, listener than some of these. I do appreciate uh, kind of American Americana, country rock, but I don't think I'll be buying these. And I want to thank everyone again for uh, subscribing, comments, um, giving me some encouragement, and also putting me in my place if I if I do something that's off. You know, if I say something that's dumb, you know, let me know because the other day um, I did a video on the monkeys on head. On the on the soundtrack head, which was which I just rediscovered because I'm reading a book on Jack Nicholson, who actually wrote, helped write the screenplay and help coordinate what's on the record. And one of my uh, viewers said, you know, what's the point of this video? And I said, laugh out loud. I said, there's no point to the video. It's just a video. I just want people to explore the the you know head. It's like lost. It's, you know, 50-something years old, and it's lost. It's a great record. I, I wish that the, the Monkees could have explored that psychedelia more, but it didn't happen because the record was dismal. It sold dismally. It was, like, number 45 on Billboard. But that's another, that's just an, uh, an example. But we're going to show the Emmy Lou Harris. Before I do that, I'm going to show my uh, Sweetheart of the, Ra of the Rodeo. Um, I believe this is a Columbia. Yes, this is a Columbia record and this is the stepping stone from pop rock folk rock to country rock uh, as far as i as far as i know just a great record um so i think i have a liner the original liner just show that if you guys are into that this is not a first press this is a reissue so uh i believe it's a reissue but it's it's near mint and a, a good friend of mine, Ed, who's out there somewhere, uh, Big Ed, another one of my um, guys I always talk music to, uh, with, obviously. Um, he told me that they just did a um, audiophile version of Sweetheart, so, Sweetheart of, the, of the Rodeo. So I have to explore that. But let me show you my Emmy Lou Harris. This is Luxury Liner. This is the Emmy Lou Harris, which we're now going to get on the uh, High Fidelity Rhino series, uh, Luxury Liner. This has on it um, Luxury Liner, Making Believe, Hello Stranger, uh, You're Supposed to Be Feeling Good, I'll Be Your San Antonio Rose, Tulsa Queen, which was co-written by Emmy Lou, uh, She, which was written by Grant Parsons. So there's the connection there. When I Stop Dreaming, and You Can Never Tell, C'est La Vie, which is Chuck Barry, and that's from Pulp Fiction, when you had uh, the female lead and uh, our great John Travolta dance to that in Pulp Fiction. So um, there you have it. And there's a Poncho and Lefty, which is a Towns Van Zant tune. Uh, Albert Lee is playing guitar on this record. Ricky uh, Scoggs is playing, uh, Skaggs is playing fiddle, classic. Um, 
me see here. Uh, Albert Lee's on acoustic guitar. Uh, Emmy Lou's playing acoustic guitar. So I'm sure this has the, I'm sure this has the sound, and I'm sure it has the pedigree. Here's the original inner which we will get, and we'll also get liner notes. And they said that, I think, in the liner notes, Emmy Lou Harris, Harris contributes to, to those liner notes. And here's the Warner um, original label there. So that's the Emmy Lou Harris luxury liner. I think they kind of hit an iceberg. I think it's like, I don't think it's going to sell out, but, you know, it doesn't have to sell out, right? It'll be available when you want it. You got it. There's no FOMO there for, I think, a lot of people. So I'm just going to show my Amy Lou Harris, if you bear with me, and then I will let you go, or hopefully you're still there. And once again, thanks for all the subs. Thanks for all the comments. Please leave comments as you see fit. Here's a great one. Linda Ronstadt, Dolly Parton, and Amy Lou Harris in Trio. This is a classic. Love this record. Three Angels. That's one of my Emmy Lou Harris connections there. We'll put back on the Stenson. Uh, here we have white shoes. And Emmy Lou Harris has on white shoes. This is a nice record. I vaguely remember these. I'm not playing. I have too many records to play. This is, uh, this is one of my favorites, Evangeline, which uh, I believe she did this on the movie The Last Waltz, Emmy Lou Harris was on the last walls. I dig those boots, man. Okay, this is classic Emmy Lou. There's the original inner. Beautiful, beautiful Emmy Lou Harris. Um, a miracle voice. Here is Roses in the Snow. And um, has an original inner. Roses in the Snow. And this is also on a Warner. Emmy Lou Harris, The Ballad of Sally Rose. I'm, gonna, I'm going to uh, do an Emmy Lou Harris uh, weekend. I'm going to listen to some Emmy Lou Harris. I don't think I'm going to buy either the Grant Parsons or the Emmy Lou Harris because I have a great copy of Luxury Liner. Here's a great one. I believe this might be a gatefold. No, no gatefold. Right there. Hold that up a little bit longer. Sorry about that. Kind of lose my head. This has a hard inner right there. And uh, on a, like almost like a throwback water label from the early days, like a retro look. Here's a uh, Cimarron. Emmy Lou Harris, Cimarron, she's uh, got a great cover on this one. This is 1981. Here's the inner lyrics. And of course, lyrics and credits, and I don't, we're not going to talk about that right now. Another Warner. Here's a nice one, Last Date, Emmy Lou Harris. You don't see this too often in used record shops. This is also on Warner. So Warner did stick with her. Um, this just has a great lineup. Don Johnson on keyboards. Is that Don Johnson from Miami Vice? I don't think so. But Don Johnson does have a record from Miami Vice. Here's the inner. Great photographs. That's when they would do the collages was in vogue. And uh, the Beatles did it on White Album. McCartney did it. The Faces did it. I think Clapton did it, so that was the deal. Get everyone involved, all the people get credit, and of course, it's an honor, right, if you're in that photo. And here we have another one, Quarter Moon in a Ten Cent Town. All country themes, country rock, folk, whatever you want to call it. Here's a Warner. And uh, here we have an original inner. And all, you all, I'm not going to go into Emmy Lou Harris's biography. You all know it. She was around, you know, with everyone. Linda, obviously, the Eagles, um, that whole scene. 
Uh, just an amazing, just an amazing uh, talent. Here's another one, Pieces of the Sky, with another great cover. She's on every cover. Her band isn't, which is, you know, she's the she's the leader of the pack, right? But she did include them in the inners. Here's a great one of my favorites, Blue Kentucky Girl. I have listened to this. This is phenomenal. So there were a lot of uh, Emmy Lou Harris records that they could have actually pulled. And uh, Grant Parsons, I don't know too much about his solo career. Um, I do know that he's uh, well, well renowned as far as musician's musician. That's a great cover. I just love that. It's like the last waltz type of thing. And this has a original heart in her again. So that's about it. That wraps it up. Those are my uh, little comments about Grant Parsons, Grievous Angel, and a Luxury Liner by Emmy Lou Harris. Now these are going for uh, 39 bucks, 39.95 plus tax and shipping if you don't buy, uh, if you don't spend them as some, I, th I think the cutoff may be $75 or maybe more, you get free shipping from Rhino. But Rhino's a great company, don't get me wrong. Whenever I had an issue with a pressing or an inner, or you know, Rhino would right would get back to me right away and help me. And I've been a uh, a customer for Rhino for years. Actually, my my monkey's head is a Rhino reissue, and my son uh, Sean has been buying a lot of uh, Grateful Dead uh, reissues from Rhino, and they stand by their product. The pressings are great, especially these uh, exceptionally these high fidelity. Uh, you know, high fidelity series. They're just, uh, they, I think they rival any, you know, uh, one step or any other audiophile, uh, you know, uh, pressing as far as the UHQRs for the money. It's right there for the, you know, they, they rival the stuff that uh, Music Direct does, Chad does, all the uh, great jazz that's coming out, all the reissues. They're really good. I just don't think that these picks are from, you know, for me. These picks aren't for me, but that's just my opinion. And, um, you know, check out the comments on the announcement. You'll see that a lot. Of, there's yawns. There's no, I'm not buying it. I don't think this will sell out. A lot of negativity. There's also some, po some positives. Like I said, you know, people think, well, great. They're not doing what we expect. They're doing what we don't expect, which is what you want to have a, a nice um, medium there. So, um what else can I say? That's it. I really appreciate it. Uh, keep rocking. And I uh, hope you like this little video. Just going to show uh, an Emmy Lou Harris record while we phase out. White shoes. And these are white shoes and a white jacket. So uh, keep rocking. Uh, please leave the comments. And once again, if you uh, feel inclined to, please sub. We really appreciate it. And I really want to hear from you guys. So, uh, Hats off to Rhino once again. You know, they're trying. I just don't think that I'll uh, I'll buy these two. Obviously, I said that. Um, but that doesn't mean you're not digging it. So keep rocking, and we'll see you down the road. Down the road of peace. Ciao.